And another thing, I know a lot of people claim to see ghostly monks to the left and to the right. Well, actually, a lot of the things they see are not necessarily monks because back in the early days, a lot of people, ordinary peasantry, ordinary common folk like us, we would wear hoods because it was how we kept warm in the kind of climate that we still have to this day. So you'd see someone in a hood and you would think, oh, it has to be a monk. Well, not necessarily. However, during the swinging 60s, when Newcastle was a hotbed of pop and rock and Hendrix was playing and the animals were visiting the House of the Rising Sun and the Club of Gogo was the place to be, not very far from here, about two roads over, we had the Dolce Vita, or La Dolce Vita, I think it was called at the time, and something happened there associated to the Blackfriars. In the middle of a night's partying, suddenly, even though the music was still booming, everybody stopped because an apparition came through a wall, went straight across the dance floor and disappeared out the wall at the other side. Everybody saw it. Some people screamed, some people yelled, some people even tried to touch whatever it was. The only thing that they all agreed on was it was a monk in a brown tunic tied with rope at the waist and the man had a bald pate. All associated and all close to the huge complex that at the time was Blackfriars. <laughs>